Hello students, today we'll do the MCQ portion of exercise 8.5, okay? If you find this video helpful, then please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button, okay? It's absolutely free of course for you, but it makes a lot of difference to me. It motivates me a lot to make more videos like this, okay? So let's start the topic. Exercise 8.5, question number 2, MCQ, multiple choice questions, okay? This is question number 1. If a square minus b square equal to 11 into 9 and a and b are positive integers, condition is a is greater than b, then we are asked to find the value of a and b, okay? So the first option is a equal to 11, b equal to 9. Second option is a equal to 33, b equal to 3. C option, third option is a equal to 10, b equal to 1. And the fourth option is option D. A equal to 100 B equal to 1 so which option is correct among these four options okay what will be the value of A and B so let's find out so the condition given to us is a square minus B square equal to 11 into 9 isn't it a square since a square minus b square equal to 11 into 9 this is the condition given to us or we can apply the formula a square minus b square here we can write a plus b into a minus b equal to 11 into 9 isn't it so a plus b into a minus b equal to 11 into 9 means a plus b when we add a and b the number will be greater than the number we get after subtracting a minus b after subtracting b from a so when we multi when we add a plus b the value gives us 11 when we add the two numbers we get a greater number when we subtract one number from the other number we get the smaller number isn't it a minus b equal to 9 which is smaller than 11 a plus b must be greater than a minus b because here we are adding and here we are subtracting. So a plus b equal to 11 and a minus b equal to 9. This gives us a plus b equal to 11 and a minus b equal to 9. Okay. When we add the number, we get greater value. When we subtract the number, we get the smaller value. Okay. That's simple as that. So this is a simple simultaneous equation isn't it so adding equation 1 and 2 we get plus b and minus b cancels out becomes 0 a plus a is 2a okay 11 plus 9 gives us 20 isn't it so a equal to this 20 we have in the right hand side let's take this 2 to the right hand side goes to the denominator by cross multiplication 2 ones are 2 to 10 are 20 so we got the value of a as 10 isn't it the value of a is 10 now putting the value of a in equation 1 or equation 2 we can get the value of b as well so putting the value putting the value of a in equation 1 okay equation 1 so we have a plus b equal to 11 if this is equation 1 this is equation 2 a plus b equal to 11 a plus b equal to 11 this is equation 1 isn't it and we know the value of a the value of a is 10 so we are putting the value of a so instead of a i write 10 here plus b equal to 11 or b equal to 11 we already have in the right hand side we take this 10 to the right hand side becomes minus 10 isn't it or b equal to 11 minus 10 will give us 1 therefore we got a equal to 10 and b equal to 1 so we can choose which option is correct among these four options a must be 10 and b must be 1 so a is 10 b is 1 option c is the correct answer okay question number two exercise 8.5 mcq if a upon b plus b upon a equal to 1 then the value of a cube plus b cube is option a 1 option b a option c b and option d is 0 we are asked to choose the correct option among these four given options okay so if this is the condition a upon b plus b upon a is one then what will be the value of a cube plus b cube isn't it we are asked to find the value of a cube plus b cube 
okay now let's see the condition a upon b plus b upon a equal to 1 this is the given condition isn't it or we take the lcm of the denominators a and b the lcm will be a b so b into a will give us a b that means a into a is a square plus a into b will give us a b which means b into b is b square equal to 1 or a square plus b square equal to a b into 1 is a b isn't it so let's assume this as equation 1 we got a square plus b square is a b a square plus b square equal to a b isn't it now let us find the value of a cube plus b cube a cube plus b cube isn't it since a cube plus b cube can be written as a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square this is the formula for a cube plus b cube isn't it we all know this a cube plus b cube is a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square okay so we write this a plus b as it is a plus b a square minus a b plus b square isn't it so we write this a square and b square together okay a square plus b square and then this minus a b minus a b now this a plus b we copy this as it is a square plus b square it is given to us in equation 1 a square plus b square is a b so we can write a square plus b square as a b okay minus this a b so this is a plus b into a b minus a b is 0 a b minus a b is 0 into 0 so a b into 0 will give us 0 0 into any number is always 0 therefore therefore we were asked to find the value of a cube plus b cube isn't it a cube plus b cube equal to 0 a cube plus b cube is this so we got the value of this as 0 this means a cube plus b cube is 0 so which is the correct option among this four option d is the correct option okay question number three the value of 25 cube minus 75 cube plus 50 cube plus 3 into 25 plus 75 into 50. So we are asked to choose the correct value of this expression among these four options. Okay. So before we proceed to solve this question, let's understand the formula first. If okay, if a plus b plus c equal to 0, if a plus b plus c equal to 0, we know the formula a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc equal to this isn't it this is the formula we all know this now if a plus b plus c is 0 if a plus b plus c is 0 then obviously a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c equal to 0 into any number is always 0 isn't it so 0 into this will become 0 so let us remember this if a plus b plus c is 0 then a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c should also give us 0 okay now let's solve this question so we have 25 cube minus 75 cube plus 50 cube plus 3 into 25 into 75 into 50 okay so let's write this again since 25 cube so we have minus 75 cube here isn't it we can write this as plus and then minus 75 cube cube means odd number odd means this minus sign will remain minus when the power is odd number minus will remain minus so this minus into plus will give us minus minus 75 cube okay plus 50 cube 50 cube and then plus 3 into 25 into 75 into 50 isn't it so let's write here minus because we have minus in the formula so minus minus 3 into a is 25 
B is minus 75 and C is 50. Now we have minus here and minus here. Minus into this minus will give us plus. So we have plus 3 into 25 into 75 into 50. We have plus here. So actually this is plus, okay, because we wrote minus here. Minus into this minus will give us plus. So nothing is changed, okay. Now, let's find A plus B plus C. In this case, let's find A plus B plus C because we have here A cube plus B cube plus C cube. A is 25, B is minus 75, C is 50. A cube plus B cube plus C cube minus 3ABC, isn't it? So let's find A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C is A is 25 plus B is minus 75 plus C is 50. So this is 25 let me do here 25 plus 25 plus 50 is plus 75 plus 50 plus 25 is plus 75 plus into minus minus 75 so this is 0 75 minus 75 is 0 so we got a plus b plus c is 0 isn't it we got a plus b plus c is 0 which means a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c should also be 0 because if a plus b plus c is 0, then a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 b c equal to 0. So, since we got a plus b plus c equal to 0, which means a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c should also give us 0 because a plus b plus c equal to 0. So, which option is the correct option among these four given options? Option b is the correct option. Question number 4. If a plus b plus c equal to 0, then the value of a square upon bc plus b square upon ca plus c square upon ab is. So we are asked to choose the correct option among these four given options that will be the value of this expression, isn't it? The value of this expression is which one among these four given options. So let us first see the formula. Since we all know the formula a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc equal to a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca isn't it a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc is this this is the formula now if a plus b plus c equal to 0 as in question a plus b plus a plus b plus c equal to 0 this is given to us if a plus b plus c is 0 then we can write a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 a b c equal to this is 0 a plus b plus c is 0 so 0 into any number is 0 so 0 into this number is 0 or we can write as a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to we take this minus 3 abc to the right hand side becomes plus 3 abc a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 abc isn't it now let's remember this okay a cube plus b cube plus c cube equal to 3 abc if a plus b plus c equal to 0 now let's see the expression a square upon bc plus b square upon ca plus c square upon ab let me rewrite this expression again here a square upon bc plus b square upon ca plus c square upon ab isn't it a square upon bc plus b square upon ca plus c square upon ab we are asked to find the value of this expression isn't it so this is actually we take the lcm of the denominators bc ca and ab we have BC here, we don't have A. We have CA here, we don't have B. We have AB here, we don't have C. So the LCM will be ABC, okay? So BC into A will give us ABC. So that A into this A will give us A cube. Sorry, that A into this A square will give us A cube. BC into A is ABC. That A into this A square is A cube, okay? Plus, CA into B will give us ABC. 
C A into B is A B C. That B into this B square is B cube. Plus A B into C will give us A B C. A B into C will give us A B C. Isn't it? So A B into C is A B C. That C into this C square is C cube. Okay. Now A cube plus B cube plus C cube. We have A cube plus B cube plus C cube. We know that a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 abc if a plus b plus c is 0 because the condition is a plus b plus c is 0 this is the given condition so if a plus b plus c is 0 if a plus b plus c is 0 if a plus b plus c is 0 then a cube plus b cube plus c cube is 3 abc isn't it so a cube plus b cube plus c cube can be written as 3 abc so in the denominator we already have abc so this ABC and ABC cancels out. So we got three, isn't it? So three is the answer. So among these four options, which one is the correct option? Option D is the correct option because option D is three, isn't it? So question number five. If X square minus PX plus 12 equal to X minus three into X minus A, this is the given equation, okay, is an identity, then the values of A and P are respectively a equal to 4, p equal to 7. Option B, a equal to 7, p equal to 4. Option C, a equal to 4, p equal to minus 7. And option D, a equal to minus 4, p equal to 7. This is the given condition. Then what will be the values of A and P? We are asked to choose the correct option among these four options. Okay. So let us see the equation. X square equal to, sorry, X square minus PX plus 12 equal to x minus 3 times x minus a because isn't it okay now x square minus px plus 12 we copy this as it is now we multiply this okay we multiply with x to both these numbers and after that with minus 3 to both the numbers okay so x into x this x into x is x square plus into minus is minus x into a is ax again with minus 3 minus into plus is minus 3 into x is 3x minus into minus is plus 3 into a is 3a or x square minus px plus 12 equal to x square we copy this as it is now we take minus x common from these two numbers okay x x and minus 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 x is taken common minus x into a is minus ax minus into plus is minus minus into plus is this minus x into 3 is 3x plus 3a now let's compare this left hand side of the equation with the right hand side we have x square here we have x square here we have minus x here, we have minus x here. So P must be A plus 3, which, mean, which means P equal to A plus 3, isn't it? See here, minus, minus, we have x here, we have x here. So we have P here, A plus 3 here. So P must be equal to A plus 3 because this equation is equal to this equation. And we have plus here, we have plus here, we have 12 here, we have 3a here. So which means 3a must be equal to 12, isn't it? So from here we can find the value of a, a equal to 12 upon this 3 goes to the denominator. 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 12. So the value of a is 4. Now putting the value of a in equation, okay, in this equation, p equal to a means 4, we already found p, the value of a is 4, so a means 4 plus 3 or uh, p equal to 4 plus 3 is 7 isn't it so the value of a is 4 and value of p is 7 so which one is the correct option a is 4 p is 7 a is 4 p is 7 okay this option is correct option a is correct okay this much for today thank you so much stay connected i love lord question number three short answer type questions in the next video thank you